supposed to be out on the patio or out of the room. Okay, so we've got uh, a few of the vendors here. Um, how late are you going to stay here, John, tonight? Until uh, I'm all night. Uh, well, the bar closes at... <laughs> <laughs> there will be an after meeting. No, no, listen, guys, I'll be here uh, uh, till what, what time do you when they come in and start pulling tables and chairs out, it's kind of a hint that we have to either go out there or go on the patio. Uh, I'll be doing uh, some tequila shots. There you go. Uh, so if you want to hang I'll out. Be, I'll be here because uh, where am I going to go? Texas? <laughs> <laughs> so, well, well, I'll be here. And by the way, listen, I know this is, and I apologize for the kind of quick presentation. Of Lisa, by the way, if you guys have any, any questions on these options, uh, I'm here to help. Uh, be happy to answer any questions. So I'm here until uh, till, till the lights go down and the tequila runs out. You have any power teams in Dallas because I've really opened up that market. In Dallas? Yeah, you got any connections? Dallas power teams? You yeah. Help out a good friend? Yeah. A, a Dallas site? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Somebody <laughs> says y'all and y'all. Are you from Dallas? Yeah. yeah. You know what? I don't, I don't, I used to do a lot of stuff in Dallas. I have uh, one person over in the Dallas area. I personally, I used to be all over Tarrant County, yeah, Dallas County. Yeah. I'd ride down to just me. I have people in Dallas County. If, I mean, if you want to do Dallas, Dallas. County, I want to be your friend. I want to come and see you in Dallas. But you used to Well, I can you. That's a great one. Uh, uh, I brought it. Uh, me personally, I just uh, brought it down where it's Tarrant County. Person, you find a lot more uh, guy in Frisco. But you find more um, success in Tarrant County. Yeah, and your thing is, I don't, I don't, uh, again, I don't speak to groups. I don't sell my crap. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> I don't sell my stuff. So in other words, I don't, I don't go to real estate groups in Dallas and sell a bunch of stuff. The reason is, I can't have 80 people in Dallas doing lease, leasing to buy. Yeah. Because it doesn't work. I can only have like three people, maybe. Yep. So I've got one person way up in Frisco, and I just so I, I I can't tell you how much money I've turned down. Going, oh, I can't help you. You're in you're in play. I can't help you. So I'm gonna just sell a bunch of stuff. But I mean, we'll talk later after. I get some more wine. Some more wine. More food. Here's the patio. Okay. So what we got uh, is. Uh, Roberta Eastman and Keith Foley are gonna. Who? Do you want them to go first? She's ready. Okay, we're gonna have. Uh, what happened here? I didn't have you up here because you came at the last minute. So Linda Pliagas, let's give her a big hand. Hi everyone. I'm the publisher of Real Thank you so much for coming all the way from the Lone Star State. Bam, um, baby. Bam. <laughs> uh, we also published Cashflow Express. We just came out with this publication about uh, four weeks ago. I'm also promoting one of my advertisers. If you need private money, they're a local asset-based lender. They have a great tote bag. I'm going to have the newspaper in there for you. I'm located right over here in the vendor booth. Uh, right over here in the corner. Please come and see me before you leave so I can give you our magazine and a tote bag. Thank you. All right. Okay. So then at the uh, last meeting you had up north in San Jose, was yes. how many people were showing up at that uh, meeting? We had 250 investors. We had a lot of people from here actually attend. And we had 25 vendors from around the country. It was awesome. Amazing. That's great. I lost my voice there, but it was worth it. Good, good. Thank you. Okay, and then we've got... Uh, Keith, do you want to do a little talking up here? My voice is gone. Your yeah. voice is gone. Yeah. 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 We both got sick shaking people's hands. <laughs> Were you up there with her in San Jose? Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, that's what happened. Okay. Look. Uh, 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 you made a large uh, Okay, good, good. Get that camera. Get <laughs> Okay, so Roberta, is there anything that you want to say at all about uh, what you guys are doing up there? Sure. Yeah, we, no. we did. We all took the chart out to San Jose because Linda hosted it. I'm Roberta Eastman. Thank you. I'm Roberta Eastman and uh, co-founder of REF Academy as well as RobertaEastman.com. 
and um, I help the real estate investors build their businesses and do the marketing as well as the real estate investing training. <coughs> and, then, um, but, and I'm also Linda's business strategist. So, um, so we all took the trek out to San Jose. We had a great time. We met tons of incredible people. The market up there, um, you know, people are hopping, right? They understood the business aspect of building real estate investing, and um, they're doing all that they can to get in, invest, hold properties. Uh, a couple of flippers, but really the market up here was the holding, the rentals. And um, then Linda and I were in Dallas a couple of, I don't know, weeks ago. We tra you know, she travels all over the country, and then she just takes me along. Um, but we were in Dallas, and down there, we found in that market a lot of multi-units. Their big drive down there was the multi-units. So I found that really interesting, because that's opposite of what we have here. And then we were in Kansas City, and in Kansas City it is a lot of that. Oh, that's right. We are on the front of the, um, the newspaper. Right here. Thank you. <laughs> um, we were doing a bus tour there, and a lot of that market is rentals. So just you know, going all over the country gives us a really great opportunity to see what people are doing. And for me, my favorite market was Kansas City, Missouri, uh, because of the people. They're humble, they're proud, they're just you know, hard workers. Um, so that's my favorite market. So Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Uh, that's, so can you say just a couple sentences about uh, how, how you operate as a business strategy? Absolutely. Um, it, it, very short, we strategize everything for you, which we brain dump it get all of your ideas out, we pull that together and categorize it, we prioritize it, and you step off with an action plan. And you're physically located in? I am physically located in Orchid, and my business is national. I've been doing this since 2004 um, for franchise owners, and then I stepped into real estate for personal and found out that we were missing, we were missing two things, and that was the business acumen. We didn't know how to build a business doing this. So for me, I believe that real estate investors um, are the providers of our future. And in order to be that provider for your family yourself, you need to move from being a hobbyist in real estate investing to a real estate investor business owner. And so that's my passion and that's what I'm out there doing. Did it for franchise owners, doing it for real estate investors. We were missing that in marketing. Okay. And can you speak a little bit for Keith, just uh, what he's up to? Absolutely. Keith, my partner in crime. Um, <laughs> we are a three-legged business for REI Wealth Academy. And Keith does the real estate investing piece and has been doing it since 2002. And I was sharing the story of the wholesale, short sale wholesales. And um, in December, he managed to pull two of those off, which is highly unusual in the market, and um, ended up you know, helping people move out of the homes and short selling for them, help others move into the homes. One was a gentleman who relocated, another one is a gentleman who's got to do his own little rehab. And then it was a win win for Keith, obviously, because he netted um, 60000 So good. a win win for everybody. In December. In December. So that's Keith's specialty, and he specializes in. The property and the pricing and the people analysis, and my specialty is the business building and marketing. And is there some coaching that Keith provides as well? <laughs> we, as a group, okay. uh, we are a training firm actually versus a coaching okay. firm. And so, as an example, we provide training on how to do the deals. And um, this past, at our club, we also run the local Wampoke uh, REI club, and we train at the club. So they left literally in their hands with an action plan for real estate investing, business Excellent. building, and marketing. Excellent. And anybody here can go there. Please. What is your meetings? Uh, we have them the third Wednesday of every month. But you can always find us at the reiwealthacademy.com. Go to our local page. It'll tell you what we're training on, when they are, and it's $10. So Excellent. Love to have you. Have you. Meet up as well. We have our meet up page as well. But we'd love to have everybody. Right. Thank right. you. Right. Yes. Oh, vote. Okay. Yeah, that was an important piece, wasn't it? Um, part of the, the networking that we did up in San Jose, 
Um, we met a gentleman actually, <coughs> Linda, whose name is Lawrence. So part of the reason you want to go to these expos is for the networking, or the Ireland Expos is for the networking. And um, Keith won second place in the Dean Graciosi event last oh, year, the contest. Well, he's in the finals this year. And Lawrence said, hey, I have a list, and I'm going to take your email asking your people to vote, and I'm going to send it out to my list. That's just from networking. So that's the power of going to these things, is you meet people, and they're willing to help. And so now he has forwarded this out to his list. And so if you guys want to vote, there's opportunities to win private strategy sessions with me for your business, opportunities to work with both Keith and I, opportunities to win my new book that um, Dan also has a copy of. And um, if you'd like to vote, you can come visit with us over on the table after. This is your book. That is my new author. You wrote this. Um, I am a co-author in that book, yes. And um, that is 101 women who have come together to share our stories of um, maybe if we've been wounded and we've survived and thrived. Mine happens to be how the death of my mother influenced me to do what I do now. And um, we came together, 101 women of us, in hopes that our stories will inspire somebody else to overcome their situation and triumph and thrive in their lives. So. Excellent. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Uh, at the end, there's going to be a question. I don't know what it is yet, but I'll ask you if there's any way else you can get the book. Okay? So. We have uh, Justin Urban here. He has been a uh, member of our RIA since we started way back at the uh, first American uh, title company, I think. Yes. So let's get Justin a hand for uh, <laughs> you know, a real drink. You can get him a rundown and put you up. Yes. Hello, my name is Justin Urban, and I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the uh, Santa Barbara market. Uh, the last, I'd say, going into the summer, it was hard to make a sale on a property. And then uh, about halfway through summer, that just changed. Um, multiple offers, prices increasing. Um, there's examples of things that have gone up 20% uh, from six months ago. And so I just want to give you a little update on the market. It's uh, very hot. I don't know if anybody is looking to purchase in Santa Barbara, or if you're looking more for Texas, or where the returns are a little different. <laughs> But um, I just wanted to highlight three deals that I think are out there right now. There is a triplex um, on Castillo Street for $725,000. Uh, it's, it's right downtown, so it's a great location, a good price for a triplex. And there's a property in Goleta on uh, Brandon Street. This could be a fix and flip, if anyone's into fixing and flipping. The uh, asking price is $501,000 for a four bedroom, two bath, uh, almost 1,500 square foot home. And the last one is out of the area, it's up in Lompoc, so the numbers are a little more attractive as far as a return on investment. It's a sixplex, uh, two bedroom, one bath units for 399. So for our area, that's, those are great numbers. <laughs> and Justin, can you give us an idea of the price Range uh, where the properties seem to be appreciating is it in the three seven hundred two million? What would you say the price ranges are where things appear to be going up and competition is is knocking yeah. at the door? I would say the Mesa is on fire right now. There's no inventory. Uh, I've written offers there. We're competing with seven, eight, ten offers. Price range is up. Um, that's there was one for around. 630, which okay. is just a great deal. And there was another one, I think they were asking um, 680. Okay. So that's on the Mesa, kind of, you know, just under 700 is really hot. Uh, properties are coming out now that used to be 750, now they're coming out at like 925. Really? That much of a jump? And they've gone pending, but I've seen a couple of them fall out quickly. So in, in the Mesa area or someplace else? Mesa area. Okay. So the Mesa is just, it's, it's really been on fire the last uh, three, four months. If you were to look at something like Zello, would you actually see charts and graphs of that area picking up in value, or is it mostly just the people are competing for the price and it's not necessarily going up so much? No, I think it's going up. It is going and up. And I think Zillow lags behind. It must. You know, it's going to lag behind the stats that they do for months. 
So I don't think you're going to see it on Zillow yet, maybe. Okay. Maybe you're going to start seeing it on Zillow. Hey, hey Justin. Yeah. Those prices you quote for these houses, just for the people here, just to kind of bring things to reality, most people here don't have 500000 in their checking account. At least I don't. Do you? Okay. Not the last time I saw it. Well, I do, but, well, ah, darn it. Let's get some reality here. Those prices you quoted, let's talk about what you think they're actually worth. If they're, if, in other words, if they're asking 500, but you say, you know what, I think we can get 600 for this or 650, uh, these people will have to have so half a million dollars to buy that house. They'll lock it up and sell it also. So let's talk about what you're talking about, you know, these houses, what do you think they're actually worth? Well, this one in, in Goleta for 500,000, that's up the pretty much at the bottom end of the market. There'll probably be multiple offers on that one. Um, and I think, yeah, if you might, but anyway, there'll probably be multiple offers and um, could go 525, 530, 550. I haven't been inside the house, but I feel that it's something you could go in, maybe spend uh, 30 to 50,000 on it in upgrades. And then the after repair value, could be around 650 or something like that. So there might be some profit in that one. Um, so that's that Justin, one. the other one was the sixplex that we had talked about. Yeah, there's a sixplex. Um, I had mentioned it to Melody. We, uh, we actually investigated a little bit further to see if she wanted to buy it with one of her partners. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's a sixplex. It's 399. Um, yeah. I think that's a good deal. It's an REO. So there could be a little bit of flexibility in the price. I, mean, I think it's a pretty good deal where it is. That's a long that's boat. Where is that? Where is it? Well, call me for that info. Okay. That <laughs> it's on Inn Street. Inn Street. Yeah. Inn Street. So uh, I would say I'd like to help, I'd like to help anyone. Yeah. Do you have? I believe the rents are uh, around six fifty for a two-bedroom low level. That's low. That is low. Yeah, that's a lot of that even said you could probably pump up the yeah, rents a little bit. But, um, and do you the have budget could be tightened up on those two, the, the management on them to, to yeah. create more. So I think it's a great, I think it's a great deal. If anybody want, would like more info on it, I'd be happy to show it to you. I've seen the property. It's got mm -hmm. updated windows. It's a decent square footage for the units. It's a, a nice unit. Do you have a feel for what's happening in Hope Ranch or Montecito as far as Values and competition for uh, those properties as well. Montecito is also very active. I think if you go over two million, it's not as active. If you're under under two million, uh, quite a bit of activity. Uh, let's say, yeah, under two million, pretty active. It's going over that a little bit, a little bit, a little bit softer. Over two million. Good. Okay. Um, that's it. My website's justinurban.com if you want to search the MLS. Or if you tell me what you're looking for, um, I can set up a search for you and keep an eye out for a deal. Or if I see another deal like this, I can bring it to your attention. Mm -hmm. and we've also got your information and the rest of the people's information on these links on our blog website. So you can just click on Justin's Realtor, you know, and it'll just take you right to his website as well. So. Uh, you have uh, flyers back here, cards and things for people? Yeah, I've got these properties. If you'd like a flyer on these properties, uh, cards, if you want to sign up for any more information or uh, tell me what you're looking for, I can help you find that. Excellent. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're uh, about 9 o'clock. Uh, we've got uh, two more, but uh, I, would you like to... <coughs> Cut the camera. Would you like to just have people talk to you after oh, no. we're done, or what? What is your feeling yeah, for okay. speaking? Uh, we're taking five five minutes or less. Okay. Yeah. And um, he can turn that off if you want. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Why don't you go ahead and turn that off? Let's see. We're getting at the end here, and I will have to say that the you know the seventy two and all that stuff. It's amazing how people enjoy being held through that process. Mm -hmm. One of my first seventy twos was in Oklahoma, and when I did this. We started getting phone calls at our house a lot, and I had just started doing this business, and my wife's kind of going, what's going on here, you know? And then eventually she came into the front room one day when I was standing there looking out the uh, view of our home and going, what is going on here, you know? And she's crying, and I said, why are you crying? 
And she said, well, this guy that keeps calling us up was dying of cancer. He couldn't make his payment. He was going into foreclosure. You took his house on subject two. He just gave it to you. You know, signed over the deed. He's still responsible for the loan. And he's calling up here every day, crying on the phone, saying, I'm so happy you got me out of this mess I was in. Yeah. You know, we're out of the house, and I just wanted to thank you again. And, and I said, oh, and what did you think? And she goes, well, I didn't know if you were ripping these people off or what you were doing. And I said, hey, we've been married for 20 years. Get to know me, you know? <laughs> and so this is the kind of stuff that you can do to help people out. Um, I ended up having it for a couple of years on a 72. The guy signed the deed over to me, but he was still responsible for the loan. And he said, well, I'm just going to give you the house. And I said, well, it's going to go into foreclosure anyway. If I blow it, it's going to be no different than what you're doing. And not only that, every month I make your mortgage payment, I increase your credit score. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I'm for that. So it really does help. Yeah. You know, so there's so many things that you can do when you don't have to come out of money in pocket. But I think I'd stick with wholesaling if you just started off. Yeah. Hey, Keith. One of the ones I did in December, I gave the guy $10 to get a key. Yeah. 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 I've had him sign a home. Can I talk about the, the first deal I did? I know we're busy here. Just real quickly, I'm sorry. We're at the end. We're fine. Yeah, I'm from Texas. I'm just going to take this shit over. Uh, <laughs> the first deal I did, I had, no, I had no clue what I was doing. And you would think about real estate is, and what you read and you see online, you think, oh, well, I'm going to make a bunch of money, and look at me, I'm freaking going to Vegas. Blah, blah. Uh, for me, that's not the way it was. The first deal I did, uh, I didn't know what the hell I was doing, I tried to those marketing tickets, blah, blah, blah. Finally got the deal. You know, got this house under contract for at least purchase uh, for what the numbers were. And I was going to make $3,500. So I go to this house that's vacant, the owner's out of state. And uh, I go to the house, and, you know, and, you know, this guy that lives there, he gives the keys. And I'm sweeping up stuff, you know, trying to make it look presentable. And for the side of the yard that I got for $35, just the most rinky dink freaking disaster you've ever seen. Put this on the yard. These people come on within a week, boom, $35. How can you think of me going, yeah, man, you look at me, woohoo! I gotta say, I'm being honest with you guys, I felt guilty. I gotta say, I, I, I really think about what I was doing. I was like, I, I, I remember sitting in my room at night. Because at the time, it would take me a month to make $3,500. Mm -hmm. And to make $3,500, I had, again, again, I had no clue what I was doing. But they give me cash. <laughs> I had $3,500 on my freaking kitchen counter. <laughs> you think I'd be going, yeah, I'm going to Vegas get some strippers or whatever. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> baby. <laughs> I felt guilty. It, 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 wasn't the, uh, it wasn't the overall, ooh, this is awesome. I felt guilty. And I was like, and I, and, uh, I was like, I was just like, this is not what I'm supposed to do, this is what I'm supposed to do, this is wrong, this is wrong. I mean, I knew I was going to help them, but I was like, this is too easy. It wasn't the, uh, the Yahoo moment, it was like, uh, I'm sorry, this is too easy. I felt bad. <laughs> hey, but you know what? That next house I did, came my it. freaking ass, yeah. I was like, I earned yeah. that first house. <laughs> <laughs> but that first house, yeah. I was like, I'm sorry, this yeah. is too easy. I know the feeling. Uh, I quit the university and retired early because I did a flip on a property that we took $25,000 in cash after the deal closed, went off to Tahoe on vacation, and I thought, this is so wonderful, I'm going to quit my job. I did, I got my retirement and all that stuff that we talked about, and very soon after that, the market started going like this, and we, wow, it was easy before, but you know, so you, you just have to be able to learn to change and adapt to what's going on and figure out where you're going to go next. Okay? If you want it, it's there. So next month, we're going to meet back here again. We're going to have uh, Sensei. Anybody here seen Sensei before? Sensei. So he'll be back here next month. I want to thank you all for showing up. Uh, we'll have... Uh,
possibly uh, John Whitney here is going to bring in some far infrared ED panels so you can see those and feel them and get a sense of what that's like. And uh, we'll have some vendors here too. So thank you very much for showing up. Thank you. Thank you.